in order to prevent a sharp appreciation of RMB after widening of the daily trading band, uh, the Chinese uh, central bank engineered a period of RMB devaluation by guiding the middle rates uh, lower starting in February this year. The PBOC also wanted to discourage long RMB carry positions generated by exaggeration of export invoicing through some devaluation of RMB uh, in the first quarter of this year. The RMB exchange rate against the Hong Kong dollar dropped it about 3.4% to the low of 1.2370 in the following two months. And in April, I called for bottoming in the RMB exchange rate uh, due to my expectation of a faster export growth in the second half of this year and due to the uh, better uh, external demand condition in US and in Europe. Well, the RMB exchange rate has gone up by 2.5% to 1.2680 since May. I still believe that the uh, RMB uh, has more rooms to go up. It will probably reach uh, 1.28 by the end of this year, and the RMB will continue to appreciate in a gradual manner in the following years. Uh, I have uh, five major reasons to back up my the expectation of uh, further appreciation of RMB. Number one, China is one of the few countries in the world that possesses of both current account surplus and capital account surplus. And naturally, uh, the demand for RMB is larger than the supply of RMB. Number two, China's export growth will continue to stay firm due to better domestic conditions in Europe as well as in the United States. China's export rose by a spectacular 15.3% on a year-to-year -year basis in September, and higher export means more demand in RMB. Number three, China is in the process of speeding up opening of capital markets uh, and the opening of capital market uh, is clearly supported by the government. The implementation of Shanghai Free Exchange, uh, Shanghai Free Trade Zone, as well as the uh, Shanghai Hong Kong Stock Connect are very clear examples. And when the uh, capital markets are opened up, there will be a lot of influx of foreign capitals into China. Number four, China is in the middle of transformation uh, from an export-oriented economy into a consumption-driven economy. And the higher RMB value increases the uh, purchasing power of the uh, people in China, which is very much welcomed by the Chinese government. Number five, global central banks are eagerly looking for substitute currencies for US dollar and particularly Euro in the foreign exchange reserves of their countries. Their confidence in adopting RMB as a major reserve currency has increased due to the internationalization of RMB. One very clear example is UK. UK has just issued uh, the RMB bonds. Uh, the proceeds of these issues will be used as the reserve of the country. The United States is going to, uh, uh, into a rate high cycle as soon as uh, the middle of next year. And normally, the US dollar will strengthen against most of the major currencies uh, before the rate hike. In the past four months, the US dollar has strengthened against a lot of currencies except renminbi. The reason that the renminbi is quite immune to the, uh, you know, uh, U.S. rate hike is because in the past few years when U.S. Uh, engineered the uh, quantitative easing, the funds, uh, the capitals, did not really go into China in a big way because of the restricted capital accounts in China. And hence, when the U.S. started to hike rates or end the uh, QEs, uh, there will not be a lot of uh, uh, capitals that need to exit from China uh, because there, in fact, is not a lot of uh, inflow into China in the past few years due to the QE. Xingjing Yanhong, Bing Seng Chong Sen Jing Sen, 
与你成就未来。